the day finally arrived. After searching far and wide for different types of boats, we decided that we were interested in the Rinker Fiesta V 270. It's a 27 footer and the model year is 2000 so it means it's 23 years old at the time we're shooting this video. We knew that it was going to need a little bit of love either way but first we wanted to take it out for a check ride. We met the owner in Nokomis, Florida which is right near Venice and we took it out into the intercoastal waterway to see how she rode in the water. It was a beautiful day and the engine and the outdrive were only a couple of years old but this is as fast as the boat would go for some reason. We would go to accelerate and it would go into guardian mode which means it goes back to idle. We still wanted to buy the boat so next we had to get her home and check it out. When you keep a boat in salt water barnacles are bound to attach themselves to everything possible. Also this cone shaped thing is made of zinc and it's designed to be replaced as part of annual maintenance. I'm pretty sure that this one is ready to be replaced. Zincs are located in several different locations around the outdrive and they're designed to wear away due to the galvanic corrosion from salt water on metal. I just had to find out where the screws were so I could remove them. Oysters anyone? These barnacles were once alive. You should be glad that you can't smell what I smell. This is the transducer for the fish finder. This might explain why it was always 181 degrees and 83 feet deep even when we were in the driveway. After a few minutes of chiseling I was able to find one of the screws. I thought maybe we could steam clean the carpet and wipe down the walls a little bit but I think my wife was right it was going to need to be removed especially the black mold. It appears that they had a water leak that went unaddressed for quite some time. We've only been into this for half an hour and she's already ordering stuff on Amazon. I should point out that it's about 100 degrees inside of the boat so we have a carpet fan running just to try to get some of the mildew smell out. Wait till I'm done. We decided to replace the entire interior. Everything from the moldy, mildewy carpet to the ceiling that was full of black mold and falling down. We tried to preserve the integrity of the old piece as much as possible so we could use it as a template to cut new wood. Be careful with that mirror or we'll have bad luck. Oh wait. Next she decided to peel off the walls to get to the fiberglass. The mildew smell was a little bit overpowering. Oh man, I can't take it. Woo! Next it was time to check out the galley area. I initially was just going to give the refrigerator a good cleaning, but we just decided to replace it. That pesky mildew smell permeated the air everywhere, and I can see why. The water lines leaked, so there were paper towels wrapped around them and tape holding them in place, which in turn leaked onto the carpet, which got moldy, and all the wires were just kind of in a rat's nest. 
If you look closely in the back left corner, there is fur growing on the wood, which had been soaking wet from a leak and had disintegrated the shelf that was underneath the counter. That had to be rebuilt. The refrigerator also has 12 volt as well as 120 volt lines, so I need to pay attention to that when I install the new one. Here I'm getting ready to fantail this refrigerator. We're going to have to remove the old steps, but they also have a light inside of them, which did not work, and the air conditioning duct. We guessed that there was mildew inside of the air conditioning, so we decided that we would replace all the duct work and the air conditioner. We also upgraded from a 4 inch to a 6 inch duct to move more air. Since most of the gauges didn't work, we also decided to just go ahead and redo the dash. The old VHF radio did not work, so we were going to replace it with a new state-of-the-art GPS-enabled one. Also, most of the switches did not work, so we replaced those. We were also going to be replacing the VHF antenna. The bimini top needed a little bit of love since it had a hole in it and was held together with zip ties. Here comes the first of about 500 Amazon delivery trucks. <laughs> 